Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm here with another video and today I'm here to tell you my top 5 most favorite trappable villains from Skylanders Trap Team. So my 5th most favorite Sky trappable villain from Skylanders Trap Team would have to be the Chef Pepper Jack. Now, I chose Chef Pepper Jack for my 5th most favorite trappable villain in Skylanders Trap Team because Chef Pepperjack was extremely creative like all the other top 5 characters, but I love this guy so much because when you used him, he was very powerful, he was a Doom Raider by the way, and then like you could throw the little pepper bombs, then they have a range of attacks like 3 in multiple directions, so you could be just bombing everywhere in an instant second, it's very creative, it's very, um, what's the word, um, convenient. And then we also have the speed through attack with his little grinder thing, the little whatever you call that, I don't know what you call it. And then you could use that and just dash through all the enemies while rapidly using it, like just grinding through. And then we also have his flamethrower attack where you can use his fire breath and then you could destroy everyone in his way with just that fire breath. So you could go... Like, you breathe on them, they die, because they don't like fire. Because he breathes fire, of course. And then, so from, okay, that's it. And then for the fourth, my fourth most favorite Skylanders Trap, Trappable villain from Skylanders Trap Team would have to be the one and only Sheep Creep. Yes, Sheep Creep. Now, I chose Sheep Creep for my number one trap. No, not my number one. <laughs> for my number four most favorite, my fourth most favorite Trappable villain in Skylanders Trap Team because he was the very first. He was in the demo. He was one of the guys that got me extremely hyped up and I remember the day before it. I just remember it. It just kind of just trapped him with the best. So nostalgic. Come on guys, you can come on Activision. I know you can get back to Trap Team. You can also add battle mode too. But Trap Team was where it was at. We had so much nostalgia. Please, please Activision, find it in your heart and just bring back battle mode and Skylanders Trap Team feelings. It's very creative, I loved it. Please. But, Scott, treat Sheep Creep, I don't wanna sidetrack again. Sheep Creep, I love this guy because first off, it was the first villain I ever got to use. And when I found out you could use Sheeps, you could play as Sheeps? Yes, Sheeps, in Skylanders Trap Team. I started freaking out, I was like, <gasps> Oh my God. Okay, that was not what that was like. That was probably like jumping off the walls and break a window, I'm sure. I don't know. But I love Sheep Creep. You can have a little rapid fire bottle opener attack the little cor corks. Not corpse. The little rapid fire corks. Corks. Rapid fire corks. Keep forgetting that. Rapid fire bottle corks. To, to go with the theme of his place where you catch him at, which is the um, Soda Springs. So, and that place was basically where Gulper was, where he had a little soda festival, he drank all that, it's a very long story. But it tags along with it, which is really creative, they never did that with any other villain. I'm not sure why they didn't do that with any other villain, and I'd like to see them to do that again with... And never mind, they can't do it again, I just not thought of that. But, yeah, and then we also had his attack, the, the infamous attack, basically, in my eyes, where you could just, like puff up you could like some for some reason the sheep would just puff up shoot puff balls cotton balls everywhere i didn't find it useful at all but it seems pretty convenient if you think about it like everything's convenient now it's like the new fake new creative but um yeah so i loved him very creative character and now that leads me on to the third one so my third most favorite trappable villain from skylanders trap team would have to be Peñata. Now, Peñata was my third most favorite because he was originally going to be like my second, never my first. But he was my third, or she, I don't know what it was. This was my third. Stop sidetracking. Because. Sorry. Sorry. Because he's very creative. Like, literally, I mean, he was very creative. He was just a Peñata monster with his little lollipop. Little go. Boom, 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 boom. Kill everyone with your little lollipop. Very creative. Then we also have his squirting out candy attack, which is rapid fire, very effective too. He was one of my most favorite characters at the very beginning. Of course, 
We also had that Chompy, but Chompy is sadly enough not on this list due to lack of creativity. That's right, he was in too many games. But I still love Chompy, so I want him to know all the games. But yeah, so Pinata, Pinata, just love the guy. <laughs> Very, I love the guy. He was my most used villain, basically. Sheep Creep and him were my most vil used villains before I captured two very special villains and before I got the traps for those two special villains. So now I'm gonna list you my second most favorite trappable villain from Scotland's trap team and that would be um the very awesome character that I had always loved, Wolfgang. Now this was my favorite favorite character that did not return. A new creative, a new idea a new creative idea. I love the idea of Wolfgang like Wolfgang Mozart and the music, the little harp, little harp guitar guy, he, he really he's a harp guy, he, he gets offended when you say it's a guitar, so don't call it a guitar, I understand, that's like calling a French horn a trumpet, I'd probably beat you up with my trumpet, not my, ch you heard nothing, but yeah, so um, Wolfgang, I love the guy, he's very creative, I don't really love him, I'm not gay, I say that in every single one, I feel I say that in every single one, but yeah. So Wolfgang, I love this guy, and I like this guy a lot, because he can rapid fire his little harp attack, you get some notes everywhere, and then you could boom, everyone would die. And then you could, I, yeah, 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 I don't know what I'm saying. And then it's just very, I love it. What am I saying anymore? <laughs> very creative guy. You can also go like slide do you through you could just dash through everything like you slide and then the guy looks happy it's a nice dog I like the idea of a dog playing a harp and stuff because I love dogs it's basically a wolf technically but it's still a dog hybrid of a dog but um yeah so you had the rapid fire you had the dash through the slide through and I cannot remember exactly what his third attack was sorry about that guys I just cannot remember what his third attack was. If I did remember, I would definitely tell you because I want to give you the most information I can possibly give you, even though these traps are discontinued, I believe. So, um, yeah. So, now let me show you my three honorable mentions. And, um, yeah. Jumpy. Dr. Crankcase. Golden Queen. So my most favorite villain in all of Skylanders trap team that you could trap and play as, play it as, would have to be the one and only Donald Trump. No, I'm just kidding. Chaos. <laughs> Not Donald Trump. Donald Trump's the best president there ever will be, other than the other presidents that I like more, like um, like Ronald Reagan. But who cares? We're not sidetracking. Chaos. This guy is awesome because he was overpowered. Basically, they always make chaos overpowered. But this one was most creative because this was the first time they had chaos as a good guy. Have him in a good way to force Skylanders a Skylanders game, the first in the whole entire series, so it was very new and very creative, unlike all the other appearances of Chaos. Sure, like I just said earlier, Chompy was uncreative, but you could trap him and play as him. I love the thought of it when they said they could trap him, and as you saw my honorable mentions, he was in there. So, I don't know, I just, he just did not make the list. He's very close, he's literally just a tiny little Milla 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 centimeter roll away, I guess. So, um, yeah. Chaos, very powerful. You could do the little elemental attack. They never did add the light and dark attack to his character. I wish they would have done that, but they didn't really have updates back then, so you couldn't have really updated it. They started updates and such superchargers, I'm sidetracking again. And then, we also had his Doom Sharks, the Doom Sharks of Ultimate Doom Destruction. And I'm definitely not. Um, what's the word? Uh, referring to any future things. So, um, yeah. 
like in Superchargers with the ultimate doom destruction of station the ultimate doom station of ultimate doom destruction no, the doom station of ultimate doom destruction it's, it's a very long name and this guy was very power overpowered so let's get back to this so chaos you can have all of his attacks were very different so it kept the creativity levels very high and then his boss battle this is for another video but I just kinda wanted to bring this in the boss battle for chaos was a major success probably the best chaos battle ever he was a very powerful the most powerful I've ever seen chaos and they made it like I said creative C R E A T I V E very very creative I love the idea of turning him into a trap spoiler alert and it's just very very creative like all the elemental types would be the magic would heal life with like they all kind of did the same thing but they all did major major damage making him overpowered so the magic thing you could be keep on healing with it and then if you hold it down you could just wait until you got to what you want to have so it's basically an overpowered situation so his other attack was where you could do the head thing where you could like have a sonar attack and then you could also have a laser beam attack creative it's not my favorite thing but it is a very great reference to skylander sprouts adventure the trailer the first thing so um, yeah it's very uh, nice it's very nice love it 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 had a special place in my heart yeah i don't think you guys care but um yeah love the guy and the, yeah his signature attacks were the elemental attacks and the doom shark attacks so love it and if Activision could ever make another game kind of like Trap Team, I would marry them. Not literally, but I would love them forever. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more content. I'm probably one of the only Skylanders accounts that still upload to daily. So please, hit that like and subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys next time. Comment down below if you agree with my list. And yeah.